seryoso eh. Pero, oh! oh! Okay! Okay! Gumite! Changi! Gumite! RSGD! Mga kaibigan, masaya si Manjin dahil may uulan na naman ng magic sarap. Mga raw star. Pero ito ha, this is interesting. Sunsparks, eh, Sunsparks, they still picked up the Limord knowing na may thumbs yung SGD Omega. So this is just sheer confidence talaga sa draft nila. I mean, yep, definitely. I mean, if you look at the other aspects on the side of the draft, like I, re I feel like tong, uh, this Chang'e pick here on the side of SGD Omega, it could actually b work out well. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the mga potential frontliners on the side of like Sun Sparks, it's really threatening. Like you need the yeah. magic damage to burst it out. But then you mentioned the Leo Mord, that could be definitely threatening because Leo Mord, his jump factor immediately mm -hmm. to the back lines could uh, potentially nerf out Chang'e. So it's really interesting as well. Yeah, very interesting kasi yung uh, interaction ng draft ng SGD Omega dito in Sun Spikes. So ito yung game changer nila. Na feeling ko naman ay decent siya laban sa mga members ng Sun Spikes. What, what I really like about this is, bago pa makahabot yung carry sa point na pwede siyang makapatay dun sa may backlines, mauubos agad siya gamit nga naman yung uh, magic sarap mula dun sa ating jungle. Look at this certain trend na ginagawa ng SGD Omega. They actually relegate three people onto the top lane, giving Toshino the oh, extra yeah. head he needs. Kel VJ will be the first blood of game number three. And SGD Omega, look at the rotations. They're yeah. forcing a lot of these recently, game one and game three. And not only that, the yung box na makukuha nila dito, that is already super duper good para sa SGD Omega. Napaka dependent ng Sun Sparks, especially Esmeralda, sa mga early type of uh, box na makukuha niya. And, now na nabuvor sila dito na isa lang yung makukuha nila, they are at a big disadvantage because this means na pwede nilang i-concede yung crap, yung control sa crap. Fortunately, nakakuha sila ng isa doon kay JP. Pero alam mo si Kel DJ dito, that one death on to the mid lane is uh, big. Kasi kung isipin mo, Esmeralda siya dapat yung nabubulin ng lane. But yeah. with the rotations coming up from SGD Omega, yan yung mga bagay na expect mo eh. One thing that we have to take note is KLBJ is going to be the Esmeralda, like I said, yung Shine Mage. Renjo, sabi dito na Sun Sparks. Renjo, dahil sobrang nabit ng performance mo with the Leomord ng game number one. Sige, bibigay natin sa'yo yung Leomord niya. JP now controlling itong Marksman. KLBJ, the way we look at him pag naglalaro siya is hindi siya talaga dependent sa early snowfall. Sobrang late game oriented ni KLBJ. No point na kaya niya mag -piss. I think that after the result of the initial laning stage for Sun Sparks, it's gonna be up to KLBJ kung paano siya magre-recover now as an Esmeralda. Kasi kung thumbs yung gamit niya, like previously, so dali lang siya mag-come mag back recover But this time, ang laki ng kanyang burden dito sa Alam mo, team. napansin ko din ngayon, Kuya Wolf, that with the arrival, sobrang liit ng punish sa mga offlaners. Kasi kapag offlane ka, tapos merong uh, arrival yung ka kakampi mo, he can just use the arrival para uh, sabihin natin, i-push back yung mga nagpo-push ng lane. A pull back. Well, Take push back. so Pero much damage. Yun. Nakuha nga din yung force out ng ultimate of the Cotteras Inferno. Has been forced out. The turtle will be taken by the Esmeralda. Pero napakaganda dito. Herkinas mula kay Heat. Oh, what a wall charge. Kumalik na sa tatlo. And there's the damage mula Esmeralda. Sama na pag-type, dalawa na. Sama na yung Kaja. A Sun Sparks finds something out of nothing again. What a wild charge mula kay Fuzakin. And look at the skills na binabato dito ng side ng Sun Sparks. Hindi lang talaga basta Mema. Mema ba to okay na? There is some a reason behind every throw na ginagawa nila ng skills nila. And that's what, uh, what uh, makes them a very good team in terms of team fights and especially on those objective fights. RTC will be able to get this trap. As Sun Sparks, nasa kanila na yung kalambangan ngayon. I think yung Sun Sparks, sinabi mo kanina na merong reason malagi pagbato nila ng skill. Kanina, na-force out nila yung counter at inferno kay Kenji. And already, alam natin, malaki na yung nawawala agad sa isang taps kapag wala na Fixo with the with the fine judgment. But it comes from Visha. Pero nakabuhay pa dito si KLVJ. Ito ang pag-falling star mode pa ka. Nakapag-star test na spot dito ba? Matay ba ng dalawa? KLVJ! You can't sleep on this guy! Napatayo si Doggy, mga kaibigan! Napatayo si Doggy! Nagka-stampede! What? <laughs> In the... Kasi grabe na mga sinakita natin dito mula kay KLBJ. We know that with the Stardust Dance, 
and the Frost Moon Shield. Kapag tama yung combo mo at hindi mo napatay yung isang Esmeralda, madali siya makapag-regen. And we saw that if you group up together, mas mabilis kasi yung cooldown ng oh, Frost Moon Shield. Pero they go in. Toshino with a good BMI. Hurricane Dance will be used. Pero Toshino oh, can load Sky! Ba -ba -ba. That is Claude going down to Shino. The first Turtle death on this guy. Wala pa rin siya na ako ang kill so far. Even with the Bounty Hunter now. LBJ forces another Cotterat Infer Inferno dito mula doon sa ating Rams. At dahil dyan, pero na namang control sa Turtle area itong Sun Sparks. Okay, but on the top lane, Kuya Wolf. Another takedown. Third takedown by Renjo. The pacing of the game is slowly going towards the side of Sunsparks, especially the GOAT. Yep. Look at this. 4K na halos ang hawak. What do you think happened, Kuya Bull? Well, uh, that, that, this is the recovery again mula kay Kel VJ. Kakasabi lang natin kanina na nasa kanya yung, nasa kanya yung bola. Siya yung, siya yung bahala kung paano makaka-recover Sunsparks overall. And it was oh. set up with that good wild charge dun sa may kita mula doon kay Fuzaken. Fuzaken has been playing so well this entire series and Rapnisha actually able to run away and uh wow kanina pa yung interaction na yan na si Krebs uuling si Rapnisha si Rapnisha casually flickering out uh, na parang wala lang nangyak and this means that KLVJ will have so much items na ngayon na a mystery shop din siya with 3 kills to his name level 10 na rin siya ngayon imagine na mahirapan na rin talaga yung SGD Omega Kyle TZ, we are yet to see the impact of this jank. Oh, Rapisha taking some shot. But it's okay lang yan, dahil na Way of the Dragon na nga dito si Heath. Not enough damage wala kay JP though. As medyo nagdadalawang isip dito yung Sun Sparks. Napa-ult na dito. The Meteor Shower already committed by the Chango. Kasi inogi si Chango dito eh. Nogi-nogi si Chango talaga dito. Isipin mo si KLBJ, babato niya sa'yo isang buong star. Oh. Yung sa kanya medyo Maliliit seasoning lang, lang eh. It's a meteor shower. So, if you are here, you can see the damage. You know who is the most important. Nice sidestep by KLVJ so that he doesn't have a thousand pounder or potentially a multi. But Crypto is already taken out of the flesh. Let's see what he's doing. KLVJ is so low. And he's still alive. There's a lot of damage. Oh, there's a lot of damage. 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 Finally, they'll get a kill, pero ano ka balit, Tore, at mukhang dalawang kill pa mula kay Rezo dito. Eto na! Eto na! Ang hinete! Ang hinete! Ya! Ya! Ay! Takbo! Patay na dito si Chang. Oh, JP chasing heat, and they do have the damage. Sabay patay pa ng Tore, Sun Sparks. Mas magandang trades para sa kanila palagi. Hinding hindi mo kaya ang hinete. Mga kaibigan, kakaiba ang pinapakita ng hinete ni Rezo dito. Kakaiba. Kakaiba. Game 1 and Game 3, pulling off a very good Leomord plays. And he said here, Leomord is back way of the Dragon. Na this time, para kay Genji. And of course, Gary versus Fams. Gary, that's it. Men, that's the way of Rapnisha and si JP. Did you see that the same face? The same face in the face, the same face in the face, the same face in the face. Our brothers. Our brothers. If we talk about team play, we don't have to win the two of them. Very well done. Sun Sparks on. The advantage, 7,000 ang kanilang laman ngayon sa gold. I think they do have a ton of map control din. Four turrets down at zero pa. Yung nakukuha dito ng SGD Omega. Talk about comfort, this is Sunsparks. Showing us kung paano laruin ang Esme, ang Grok, at ang Leomord. And tama yung sinabi kanina ng panel natin eh. Yung sinabi ni Doggy doon na walang burst damage yung side dito ng SGD Omega. That is costing them a lot. Because in the first place, si Ken BJ, yung Esmeralda, kailangan mabilis na patay yung gawin mo eh. Oh, you have to hold on to that. May na Way of the Dragon na naman. Napatay nila dito. Yung Kaja agad. At nagamol pa rin sila. May nahatak pa nga ba dito? Kung sa akin, nung ganit ang Agulaw. But this time, they will take down the Leomord. Finally, SGD Omega will get a better trade. Yes. Right now, the bleeding, yung bleeding stop for the side of SGD Omega. Pero kasi hanggat nandun yung uh, wound na yon bubuksan at bubuksan ng Sun Sparks to. At aabusuhin at aabusuhin nila yun. Pero no, first, oh! Phoenix Starbound, kumanek na lang dito. Do they kill Toshino? Finally, nakataas doon yung Claude. Practice lang, practice lang. Very, very close. Buti na nakapag-BMA siya palayo. Could have been good. And Sun Sparks, hindi pa nga napatay yung kanilang uh, Cho. And we did say na walang burst damage. 
Please, yeah. KB and the others, they're just going back and forth. Back and forth sa pag-siege ng base dito ng uh, side ng SGG Omega. But right now, they really have to end this. Ito, Shino dito, not a stellar uh, performance. Sabihin natin as game number two. Pero as time goes by, yung Blazing Duet, masama sakit ng masama sakit. Well, unfortunately, ang mas masakit dito is siyempre yung Lightning yes. Mark na meron dito si JP. 4-0 and 2 on the scary. At ito na kaya tayo kabate ng Sun Sparks na Fish. Oh, there's gonna be a good Hurricane Dance, pero hindi magiginap dahil patakbo na kala sa ito. What a wall charge na naman! Kumanay ko sa isaan, they'll take down the Akai. Sabay Stinger, pa para din cool. Well, si po sa akin, yun yan talaga ugali. Yan yan. <laughs> Pero at this point, because in mind games, yes. ninyan, eh, parang, if you tilt your opponents, if you mess with them, sabi nga sa isang sikat retreat. na player sa ibang esports ano, title, ano. you have to win the mental battle against your opponents. Kung sino oh. mas mahina yung mentality, yung mental ba fortitude, sila yung mas madali mag-break. Bakit nga ba? Kaya sabihin natin, the more na napipikon ka sa kalaban mo, the more mas na mas nagigigil ka, the more na gumagawa ka ng pagkakamali. Exactly. So this is not a battle of draft. Oh. This is not a battle of strategy. But at the same time, battle mentality of the might. as well. No, oh, boy, battle of the sila. might! That's the cloud being picked off. And alam na kayo na Sun Sparks, pinakita na yung mga picture nila dito. They have the advantage. Siya patay dito yung grab. In comes the flicker blind replay. Siya pa wala siya mahuhuli dito. Red Joe is gonna fall because of the meteor shower. And SGD Omega will live to see another day. Uh... I am out of words for the side of Sun Sparks kasi unang-una ang ganda talaga ng performance na pinakita nila dito. Kahit sabihin mo si Kel DJ, nakuhaan nila ng isang kill sa may mid lane. That didn't really stop Sun Sparks in any way. Yeah, I gotta have to give this MVP award or kung, kung hindi man MVP award yung X Factor pa rin talaga kay Fuzakin. I think kung hindi niya nagawa yung wild charge kanina, this uh, clash around the turtle would have been worse para sa Sun Sparks. Uh -huh. Then again, I wouldn't discount yung efforts dito ni Reggio as well as Rafresha. I think they also did yes. so well. And Kel DJ, you didn't mention, ang kanyang playstyle is ang galing niyang mag-recover even from the side lane spot. Diba? Pag nilalaro siyang yes. class. This time, using the Esmeralda, ganun din yung kanyang ginagawa. Alam niya kung kailan papasok, kung kailan siya kayang makabawi. But at the same time, Wolf, etong draft na ginawa ng SGD Omega, ginawa to na iniisip nila na kakaya nila yung Esmeralda pero ito yung mga isa sa mga draft patterns na kayang-kayang abusuhin ng isang Esmeralda. Oh. So you can't really say na Kel VJ is having the game of his life but at the same time, this wouldn't really happen kung meron pang sagot ang SGD Omega. And unfortunately, paubos Wala. na paubos ng sagot dito ang SGD Omega as they are behind by 12,000 in gold at ngayon, maabaante na naman ang South Sparks mula sa by bottom Lane, matahan nito si JP. Tore lang kanya target dito at hindi makapasok yung SGD Omega so far. Even when they have Hurricane Dance and time and uh, Divine Judgment, parang hirap pa rin sila makahanap ng angle dito dahil lagi nakaabang yung disengage potential ng Sun Sparks courtesy of the Wild Charge, courtesy of the Jeet Kundo, and syempre yung Falling Star Moon mula dun sa Esmeralda. Rafflesia and the others, nandiyan lang sila, they're just getting vision and right now there is no rush to take the turret or take the inhibitor turret or even the base of the side of SGD Omega. 40 seconds on the uh, timer para sa next Lord na darating. That is going to be the next big objective for both teams and Sun Sparks. Yan yung kailangan nila para ma-end na to at mag-advance sa low upper bracket. Oh. Wind of Nature para kay Toshino. Alam natin na sobrang kailangan niya yan for stop some of the physical damage niya naman ng physical attacks mula ka sa Sun Sparks. Even using the Wild Charge. Para lang masecure yun. Para lang masecure. Alam nila na talaga lamang na sila ngayon eh. And good sa akin, meron siya kasi yung ano dito eh. Mag nakakulder reduction siya. Lord, resurrecting soon. Nakapiy. Nakapiy whitey siya eh. Although hindi naman affected yung ultimate pa siya doon sa mismong parasip. I think yung ano kasi yung progression mo doon sa efforts mo, ang talent mo is marami CDR. Napindot ba yung ni Toshino? Yung Winds of Nature? Oh, I don't know. I do not know. Medyo na... Pakaramdam ko, medyo na pindot niya eh. Grabe yung grab block na yun. Forcing on the Beecher Shawl already. Sun Sparks. Paano na nun sila laman dito? Lord has been taken by Sun Sparks this time. Now, Rafflesia, they jump in. They found one. And mukhang mukhang patin na yung gadget dito. That's the immortality down. And of course, may follow pa kasama. Nag-anap dito si Pusakin. That's the... 
Raising do it. Tignan Ayan, oh, tignan mo, tignan mo. Triangle formation, triangle formation. Triangle formation nila, alam nila. Oh, masinete si Kyle Casey. Naku po, hinahapon yung bata. Kawawa naman. Yung bata, yung bata. Naku po eh, huwag ko na lang. Of course, mas mabilis kasi may marami kasing speed boost ang isang Chango. So, may hirapan din siya mahabol. Pero dito, ginamit na nga yung Hurricane Dance para na makatakas. Pero ahabuli pa rin siya. Remjo, finally, they're able to take down the Chango. Kenji naman yung kasunod dito. Nag-Contra and Inferno na rin. Sobrang dami na siya nangyari. Si Hilt na patay na. Sakit na, naubos na rin. I think this is Sun's Marks na makakuha ng game number three. And the sun will rise and advance to the upper bracket. Yung lord natin dito, papaluin na lang yung base. Sun's Marks advances to the upper bracket. What's amazing, hat ng laban, lahat ng trades in terms of skirmishes and kills, laging nasa advantage ng Sun's Marks.